Hey, what's going on guys? It's Jose, the California beekeeper. So a couple videos back, I recorded some content about having my truck underneath this big, beautiful oak, right? And I was saying to myself, man, um, it doesn't look safe to park my truck underneath there. about having my truck underneath this big, beautiful oak, right? And I was saying to myself, man, um, it doesn't look safe to park my truck underneath there. There was a storm that was rolling through, the wind was gusting, and it just seemed like that tree, I was hearing some crackling, and the tree was, it just seemed like it was waving a little bit more than, than it should have been. Man, this is a nice oak. But right up there, looks like it just wants to split. Well, it bees, but right up there it's just burnt really bad. So, we'll stay in a nice safe spot. So I came over here to uh, the canyon yard to check out the nooks. To we laid out a, uh, a, a little skunk trap, and uh, as I was pulling up, I was looking for the big oak. And is that snare? yeah, so what Max is saying is, well, the tree fell. Look at that. That big, beautiful oak that was right here fell. So what I want to do is look at where I thought it was going to break. Look at how close that was to the nooks. That's crazy. That's so crazy. Look at that. Wow. Amazing. How it just split right where I said it was going to split. Look at that, big old massive tree. It's huge, it can be pretty dangerous, so. You know, but they make great shade trees for our nooks. You see all these trees everywhere, all oaks. So let's uh, try to get back down, huh? Whew. You know, I'm very familiar with these valley oaks. And this one was, I mean, this tree must be pretty old. But it's a shame that it went down. And I know it went down because of the fire when it rolled through here. And causing it just probably stressed out. I mean, these, these oaks already, they're not the strongest. You'll get um, branches that just fall out of nowhere. But Matt, I was thinking, oh, did I lay some nukes out over here? So let's go take a look. And I mean, look at this big old thing. So when we were laying out nukes, I told Kelly, Hey Kelly, we need to lay them out in the first set of trees around. And she started laying them out over here. Well, you can see what's going on here. <laughs> That's wild. Look at how close that was, man. That's so wild. 
so wild. Hey Max, what happened to the big tree? I just need to pick it up. Who needs to pick it up? Um, he fell. The tree fell. Poor tree. Oh man. Hey, hey doggy. I hear the dog too. <laughs> so, we're pretty fortunate that we didn't get no nooks just destroyed. That's so wild that this just happened. Uh, no skunk in the trap, but that stinker did get into something. Let's go take a look, huh? Let's see. Everything looks pretty good around here. But you know what these stinkers do? Is that they'll, they're so persistent. I tell you what, they come back and they just keep messing with them, man. And they will go to the ones, these skunks will go to the ones where they smell the most brood. And I mean, you know, they don't tear them up, but to get them rolling again, it's almost a waste of time. So let's start cleaning them up. You can see, he slowly, slowly going after all of our nukes. Look at this collection of nukes he's already destroyed. Look at this. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Well, let's see if this one's even still kicking. Look at that. Still rolling. Right on. Close it. We have to close it up, Max. Tilted this one over. Let's see if it's all right. It's doing good. So, I think what we need to do is... Dad. Yes? Open. Yeah, so Daddy cracked these eggs. Oh, and he reached out. No, I cracked them for the skunk. That stinker. That stinker Rooney. He is being a pest, I'll tell you what. Man, he's being a pest. He's just, he's just making things. That stinker Rooney is just messing up the hives, Max. Let's take a look. Okay, take a look. Okay, taking a look. Oh, that's a good hive. That's a good nook, Max. Okay, we just had to tilt it back and make sure it's open, okay, Max? Is it open? Yes. Okay, it's open. Open. Let's go take a look some more. Yes. Look, he moved this one. Oh. He moved this one and this one. Oh. So, we'll keep you posted on the skunk problem that we got going on. Two, four, six, eight, nine. <coughs> nine nooks. Nine nooks. And that's just in this little zone too. So, I'm new to this problem. You know, I normally don't have these nooks where there's many skunks. I usually have them out in the, in the sometimes in the valleys, uh, out in the open. We're trying to do something different, trying to stay in the canyons, trying to get some some better breeding of the stock that we're looking for. We're not trying to get into the valley where there's other beekeepers. I'm not saying that they're bad beekeepers, but we're trying to breed a certain thing here. And we have a breeding program that we're just trying to keep it just nice and tight. So by being in this canyon around these hills, trying to ensure that we have a nice strong stock from our drone breeders so we'll keep you posted on the skunk problem hey if you haven't already subscribed to this channel hey make go down below hit smash that subscribe button give us a big thumbs up on this video man we enjoy having you we every Friday we're gonna drop a new video 
So keep posted. Go follow us on Instagram through the California Beekeeper. So stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching. All right, thumbs up. <laughs> hey, are you having fun? Yeah. Me too.